welcome back guys, Ohio Trapper here. Um I uh I got a question asked yesterday by a, a new trapper. Um he asked me how to night latch his traps. He's wanting to night latch. He's got some Duke number twos. He's uh he's wanting to night latch his traps and get them set up to get uh put in the ground for uh to catch canines. And that's that's great. That's the kind of stuff that I like when people ask me, so um, I figured we'd cover that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover up. I've got a Duke. I think this is a one and three quarter double gel trap. Um, I believe that's what this might be one and a half. I can't read the pan. Had them forever. Um, maybe. Yeah, these are these are these are Duke one and a half double gels. Um, same pan system, same dog system as your Duke number two, Blake. Um, so we're going to go over how to night latch and adjust the pan and, uh, and adjust your pan tension. If you don't know how to do that, um, we'll go ahead and cover that for you. Um, this is just a, a trap that I run for coon. I like the double jaws for coon and muskrat a lot. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. I'll show you. So the tools you're going to need, you're going to need a file. Um, I think this used to be one of my old chainsaw files. I'm not real sure. It's an eighth inch wide. The thickness is an eighth of an inch. You're going to need a file. You're going to need a nut driver to fit the nut on the bolt of your pan. A pair of pliers to adjust the pitch of your dog and a screwdriver for your bolt. That's all you're going to need on this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that file and you're going to put it right here. It goes in there like so, like this. You're going to lay it right down in there. Now if you look, there's a gap. My file doesn't fit in there. What we're going to do is we're going to file into that hole, you know, a sixteenth of an inch. Just enough to make a little lip there for the dog to slide up and that's where you get the click. All right, so we're gonna do that to this trap. It doesn't take much pressure at all. Just get it in there and you'll actually see it, you know, and then once you do a couple of them and you set a few of them, you'll see exactly uh, how far over you need to go. So now, we've got that, if you can see, I don't know, there's a little notch there. Do you see the notch we just made with the chisel? That's the notch we made. So, all you're gonna do now is you're gonna set your trap, And you're going to bring it down to night latch. See how it went off? You heard the click, but it went off. So we're going to double check it here. You want the bet, you want the, the pan to lay level at night latch. So we're going to bring it up again. It's going off. So what we're going to do, we're going to take Take our pliers, and we're going to take this part where the dog is, and we're going to bend it towards the pan just a little bit. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. And we're going to clean out that night latch just a little bit more, get it a little bit deeper. See? I don't know if you can Let's see if you can see that, if you can see it there. So now, we we'll set it, bring it tonight, bring it up, and 
So now I got, I got to, since I've made that night latch bigger, I got to bend my dog back out. Not a big deal. I'm just going to take the dog off the jaw. And bend the dog back out. It just takes some finicking, but once you get it right, it'll be right. It'll stay that way. And then if you've got any bending to do at all, it'll be with your pliers. Tie has your dog bent or something. Let me double check mine. But, so that's all you do. You just use a file right there in the pan. I think this is it. And then you just bring down. Always remember to put your finger underneath the loose jaw. Bring the pan down. And I'm not getting it. Yeah. There's enough of it there to hold, that's for sure. Um, also, too, you may have to clean off the top of your dog. I think that's the problem. you want is the pan yeah you gotta mess with them but I only do this when I first get them and then they're good you know that's that's it just take a little finesse that's all to stay up so when I bring it down the night latch it goes level on fire. Nope, there it is. see we're at night latch we just hit our night latch but our pans way down see our pans way down so we need to uh, we need to bend that dog out a little bit more and uh, I'll file that night latch down a little bit more. Don't be afraid of the trap. You're going to catch yourself a hundred million times out on a trap line. So it is what it is. So we're just putting another, we're just notching that out. We're just making our notch a little more defined is all we're doing. I didn't get it very good. And I got a bunch of wax on this file. You know, you'll get it after the first couple. I haven't done this in a while. See, it just went down the night latch. As soon as I, as soon as I said it. Pans up. Pans way high. And then I'm going to bring it down to the click. There's the night latch. Pan's pretty level. Uh, it's still a little high, but that's okay. 
we can just bend that sucker in a little bit. And now our pan's level. You can see that, see that? So. There's your click. That audible click is your night latch. That's that groove you just put in the bottom of the pan right here where the dog goes in. That's all it is. is it's an eighth inch file pushed straight in, you know, halfway, not even. That's all you do. You just file right underneath there. So when that dog, when you push the pan down, it clears that little ledge you just made and hits the dog and makes a click. They, that, that clicking noise uh, so you know your pan's level in limited visibility or at night. That's your night latch. So, so we got we got night latch. I don't know what that was. I think my file. But so we'll do it again. Night latch. All right. So pan tension. This is the pan tension tool. To set your pan tension, I use these. It's a Sullivan's trap tester. Each mark represents one pound. This one's been, it's a little old, but there's lines on it. So when this goes up, you know that one, two, three, four. I set my coyote traps right there, about three pounds. So all you do is you got it on a flat surface, hold the chain or the or whatever you can hold the base plate and then you put it on the pan one, went off at one pound so we're gonna reset it put it back on night latch when you night latch your traps set your pound tension on night latch because that's where that's the way the traps gonna be from now on you can't unnight latch a trap without put, replacing the pan. Okay, so once you get your night latch groove in your pan, set your pound to your your trap weight your your uh, pan tension on night latch. So, and I didn't adjust it, so no big deal. So, like I said, there's about one and a half pounds there. About one and a half. So, um, what you do is there's a bolt. See that bolt right there that holds the pan on? You tighten that bolt. Just give it a tightening. You'll, you'll see the you'll see how the bolt reacts. Um, these things are notorious for stripping out too, so hopefully it don't do that to me. So I'm just gonna tighten it up half a turn or so to where the pan doesn't free fall anymore, and it may strip out. Okay, it's not free falling anymore. I'm gonna test it at that point. Put it on night latch. All right. We got one and a half. So I didn't even get close. I need to tighten it up more. Okay, now I gotta kinda kinda wiggle it around before you test your I'm gonna tighten it up to where it's snug. Alright, I think that's closer. You'll feel it. I mean it takes a little bit of effort to push it down. Not not a lot of effort, but you know, it's you gotta push it down. Alright, so we're at one, two, two and a half. That's a two and a half pounds. That's good for canines. Um, Fox, Fox will set off a two pound um, pan tension, no problem. A lot of people like hair trigger for Fox. I do not. I do not like hair trigger for anything except coon and muskrat, period. That's my personal opinion. I know people that run hair trigger on everything. I don't, I, that's just not how I do it. So I'm going to give this another little bit of a turn without risking. So, and then we'll set this. 
down to three pounds. I want three pounds at least on my coyote set. After you have enough toe catches, that's, that it'll get on your nerves. And it, it's pan tension, guys, period. So, we're going to do it again. Right in the middle of the pan. One, two, three. Go figure. If that happens, just tweak the dog out a little bit. They make a tool for this, but these work just as good. Get back on night latch, and this should be done. On night latch should be at right about three pounds. Two, we're at three pounds. That was three pounds, guys. So, um, so now that's that's it. This thing, it's a it's a one and a half, but I could go set this in the ground and uh, and catch a kite with it. Not the way it's set up with this chain or swivels, but. The way that I just modified that trap, your Duke number two, if you do the exact same thing to it, it'll be fine. Just uh, just make sure your trap's night latched, and uh, and you're good. I mean, you don't even necessarily have to night latch your trap. But again, you can see see the oh no man, this camera. See the little step down up there? And then uh, this bolt adjusts your pan tension. This bolt right here. So. So I hope that answers your question. Um, that's how I do it. Um, it's just as simple as putting a notch in the back of the pan where the dog goes. Um, making sure you're... you're your frame is bent right to where your pan is level when you're on night latch and a tighten up that bolt get you a uh, trap tester tool and pan tension um, I've heard of guys using a three pound sledgehammer um, they'll, they'll tighten up that bolt little by little until that three pound sledgehammer just sets it off they're not wrong for doing that I, there's nothing wrong with that um, I like between Two and three pounds for canines. Um, no less than two. No less than two. That's just that's just how I do things. That's what I've found out. I've had toe catch after toe catch after toe catch. I've run um, traps to where um, I've set them so much that I've gotten the pans loose on them and not checked my pan tension and lost coyotes. Um, so that's how I do it. I hope that helps you out. Um, Again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate all the questions and the support. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.